Last time on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we claimed 1,000 gems for reaching 3,000 trophies on the Builder Base. Today, let's get into the three most common mistakes I've made playing Clash of Clans or in this Free to Play no! series. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 28 of the Town Hall 11 Free to Play series. So there's a comment that was posted in the last episode that I want to read to you real fast and it's from Regina and it says, I'm having one doubt. Why are you maxing walls instead of defenses in all free to play series? And it really started generating some thought for me and I was like, wait a minute, maybe some of you guys are watching these videos and you're not really understanding my logic behind the upgrade process. So today we're going to cover the three most common mistakes that I've made since playing in Clash of Clans or I've made in this free to play series. So here's a question for you. How many of your clanmates have come to you and said, I am maxed out on my base? And you're like, oh man, cool, bro. And you go look and then they have maxed out defenses and only level 10 heroes. I was one of those guys. So when I first started playing this game, Town Hall 10 was the highest Town Hall level. And so I maxed out my Town Hall 10. At least I thought I did. So I maxed out all of my defenses, but my heroes were only level 15. And my clanmates were ragging on me hardcore and I could not get into other clans because of it. So the number one mistake that we make in this game is prioritizing defenses before anything else. That includes walls and heroes. And how does this happen? So we can use this player as a good example because he has some high high level defenses we got a level two eagle artillery we have a town hall 11 we have high level inferno towers high level expos and there's nothing wrong with this he should be able to defend very very well but on the flip side in the attacks he might have a little bit of a problem because he's running with a lower level queen for town hall 11 remember the highest level queen for town hall 11 is a level 50 and so one of my biggest goals with this free to play series is to show you how to achieve a high level hero without spending spending gems or buying gold passes. The only inhibiting factor that you have to deal with is waiting. And I know that's a big problem for a lot of us is waiting on those builders. So in the Town Hall 9 free to play series, I unintentionally made this mistake myself and I got caught up in that gold to defense ratio of upgrading. And what ended up happening was I was forced to move to Town Hall 10 with level 25 king and queen because it took so long to claim the dark elixir and I finished up my defenses. The result of this mistake will cause you <laughs> to have builders idle doing nothing and the loot sitting there idle not being spent. So what you end up doing is end up moving to the next town hall level. And so this is why I have approached this town hall level completely different from what I've done in previous series. I always start on upgrading my heroes very early on and I wait on the defenses for a few weeks until I get some levels on those heroes, at least try to get them maxed out. I know a lot of you guys tend to not want to do this, but it does pay off in the end and we are able to move move on to the next town hall level efficiently by finishing our defenses last and so we do not have loot sitting there doing nothing we have heroes maxed out and we're working on our walls which leads us into our next mistake Yes, you did read that correctly. Doing walls too fast. Is that actually a thing? Oh, it totally is. And I will explain that here in a moment and the results. But we're going to take a look at this base first because this encompasses what I just talked about a moment ago. I found this one in my attack log. And so he is following the gold to defenses first before doing heroes or walls. And so we have a level 32 queen, a level 16 king. And so this really grinds my gears more than anything. A lot of players I see talking in discord and they will say that king upgrades don't matter and i'm like i don't know what king you're using or what you've been watching but a high level king can clear out exterior buildings with ease especially once you use his ability and he also serves as an amazing tank and the Grand Warden on this base is a level five. In reality, his Eternal Tome is only about three seconds long, and it's kind of useless in a lot of high level Town Hall 11 attacks. So when we look at the walls though, we have a mixture of Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, we got some Town Hall 10, we got a Town Hall 11. We even have a level five piece of wall. Now, naturally he probably just did that when he upgraded to the new Town Hall level. But the thing about this is by not upgrading the walls, you do not have to use as many wall breakers to open up these compartments or the wall wrecker will be able to move through the base very very fast and it does not get slowed down by the high level pieces of wall so i'm sure he more than likely is able to defend himself against very weaker players 
But when it comes to us high level players, these bases, we can move through with ease. Now on the flip side, back in the Town Hall 10 free to play series, I made the mistake of upgrading my walls too fast. And so one thing that you probably noticed in this Town Hall 11 series is that I have not grinded out my walls really, really fast. This right here is the result of having gold stockpiled and I will just do one or two pieces of the wall to get rid of that gold. But what I did in the Town Hall 10 free to play series is I knocked out my walls all completely really, really fast. And what ends up happening is you have nowhere to spend your resources. So you will have builders down for five, 10 days at a time like we have going on right now. I have no builders and I have absolutely no way to spend the loot that's just sitting there. So what ends up happening is you're just giving up loot. Now there's nothing wrong with this. This is a personal preference thing. Maybe you just want to get your walls done. And I know a lot of players in my clans that do this. There's nothing wrong with that because you just got to have something to do, grind the walls out. But the result of it is not having anywhere to spend your loot when you have an upgrade going with either a builder or in your laboratory and your loot's just sitting there doing nothing. So in order to combat this, you don't necessarily have to grind out your walls. Just dump your loot into your walls in between upgrades and just move on with another builder upgrade. And last but not least, the final mistake that we tend to make as inexperienced players in the game is not upgrading one strategy at a time, upgrading the troops for one strategy before starting another. And I'm gonna try to explain this where it's not entirely too confusing. A lot of you guys out there think that you have to have a different strategy for each individual base that you face, whether it's out in global as a trophy pusher or in clan war. And so what could be confusing is you might be watching a lot of channels that show you a lot of different competitive game style. And so the competitive players have different bases to combat certain armies. And so you get this in your mindset that you have to try out all these different armies. And what ends up happening here is you end up slowing down your laboratory upgrade time frame or you tend to confuse yourself more. An extreme example of this would be using, let's say, the hybrid army, and then you wanna start using the La Lo. Instead of mastering one army, you're trying to tackle two different armies at the same time, and you're really just confusing yourself because each of those armies have their own different capabilities. So to sum up this section, when it comes to picking an army and upgrading it, only you know what type of player you are. If you are more of a competitive player that does a lot of friendly challenges, you have a very active clan then it does not hurt to try out and practice different armies but stick with what you know works and work your way in do not jump into clan war seeing an army here on YouTube and then immediately trying it out because you more than likely will fail and you'll be pretty upset with me now if you do not play like that and you want to just be successful in the game then pick one army and stick with it and you should be able to move through the town hall level very effectively and there's different armies when it comes to either a farming army you got to know the difference between a farming army, a trophy pushing army, and a clan war army. Your clan war armies are more expensive and a lot of players tend to steer away from those, but those are the ones that are the most effective in clan war. So my advice here is stick with an army and get through the town hall level and try out different things along the way, but do not expect to be successful immediately. All right, so those are the three most common mistakes that I've made playing this game. I've done it time and time again. I've done it even in the free to play series. Everything that we've done this far in the last year. Can you believe that this series has almost been a year old? We have made mistakes along the way and tried to correct those mistakes and learn as we progress. Now, each of us all play differently. You do not have to follow exactly what I do. But for those of you that have been following since the beginning, you probably understand by now my logic and why things seem to work as efficiently as they do. There really is no way to play free to play fast. I mean, it's just impossible. We cannot speed up builders without having magic items. And if you really want to speed up your process then you're going to need to buy gold passes and get more magic items from there as well as the loot that comes from the season bank but in order to play truly free to play we just have to wait on those builder upgrade times or wait on the laboratory there's just no way around it guys so in order to finish up this video i'm going to put down my grand warden down for upgrade again because we have uh, loot piled up again and we need to keep this guy going so remember i'm focused more on my heroes and my offense before 
or jumping into my defense. I have been working on some of the newer defensive items. We will get this maxed out in the upcoming future, but I need to make sure that I prioritize those heroes. That way I can get them done. And that way we can move through this series effectively with high level heroes and be able to accomplish some of those other different armies. But we do have some gold piled up. So I'm going to go ahead and spend some gold real fast before I spend my elixir. I almost made a mistake there. You saw that, right? So let's go ahead and burn off our gold. That way we do not have a builder uh, gone and nothing to spend that gold on. So let's go ahead and drop our grand warden now. Now that our gold is no longer with us, we can put him down for another five days and 12 hours. And that's how we effectively spend off our loot without letting it sit there and waste and do absolutely nothing. Just basically giving it away. So hopefully you were able to get something out of today's video, guys. I know it's a lot of information. It might not be exactly as exciting as some videos, but those are the mistakes that I've made along the way. And I want to try to prevent you from making those same mistakes. That way you have a very enjoyable gaming experience when it comes to playing Clash of Clans. If you enjoyed our content, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you've not done so already. And if you like watching us every single day, turn on those notifications. If you need any additional video support or you want to see this series from the very beginning, click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.